Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout of the evening is scheduled for three two-minute rounds in the Tough Enough Randy Couture Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, competing out of the blue corner with four wins and two losses, fighting out of Team Guild Army Combatives, Fort Irwin, California, Tenny Gonzalez. His opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with a record of four wins and three losses, fighting out of Hybrid Athletics, Portage, Indiana. He is Mike Esco. Your referee in charge of the action inside the cage is the one and only Chris Tyone. Ready, sir? Here we go. Fight. Round number one. Green trunks for Danny Gonzalez. Red and black trunks for Mike Esco. And Esco comes out guns a-blazing. A three-punch combo transitions into a takedown, and right away, Gonzalez is attacking the neck. Looking for the guillotine now is Danny Gonzalez. Trying to punch his way out now is Esco. A lot of commitment from Gonzalez. See Gonzalez trying to throw that left leg over. He was attempting a triangle, was shut down by Esco, and Esco is a pressure fighter. Esco now landing the left hand. Heavy pressure absolutely out of the open half guard. Gonzalez trying to sit up and through, eats that left hand. Big jump in right hand from Esco and another. Those shots are landing. Looking for the arm bar now to counter from the bottom is Gonzalez. Going hard on the arm bar. Esco, and he lost it. Esco did a great job there of, of shrugging off the legs of Gonzalez. Nicely done on the sweep, but still holding onto the guillotine. Gonzalez looking for separation. Both fighters stand, and there's the separation. Inside leg kick followed by a cross by Gonzalez. Gonzalez again with the inside leg kick to a cross. Good knee to the body in that last sequence from Gonzalez, and then steps in with that knee. Esco's in real trouble. There's the stoppage. Victory for Danny Gonzalez in come from behind fashion. Great recognition from Chris Tyone, the referee. Saw that Esco was hurt on the flying knee. And then a rapid fire finish for the victory from Danny Gonzalez. Excellent finish by Gonzalez. Let's take a look at it. It's the inside leg kick, the flying knee right into the solar plexus, and you see Esco just drops. Boom, big knee straight up the middle. Esco crumbles like a sack of bricks. And like you said, Referee Chris Tyone, a seasoned pro, sees it right away and calls a halt to the action. But up until that point, a great back and forth battle from both fighters. Esco is going to look back on this fight and say, you know what, I was winning. <laughs> Gonzalez did well on the bottom. We went for the arm bar, but Esco, heavy pressure. He was landing some really thudding shots on the ground from top position. One thing that Esco can take away from this fight, can learn from this fight, is to manage his gas tank. He came out in a blaze of glory, a blitz, and then when they got back to his feet, he wore down, he slowed down, and couldn't keep it up. Back we go to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 33 seconds into the first round, referee Chris Towney calls a stop to the fight for your winner by TKO, Tenny Gonzalez. Good job, man. A really entertaining one minute, 33 seconds, back and forth, back and forth. And on that step in knee, it set up the ending sequence, the victory for Danny Gonzalez as he defeats Mike Esco.